Hey everybody. So if you've had frustrations with faces in Dolly 2 or Midjourney or any other AI software out there, there's actually a really great solution out there that's free that you can use. And it was used by a couple of websites that have since been kind of taken offline because we were hammered by the amount of people using Midjourney trying to fix faces. I want to show you how to access that technology today. And it's called GPF GAN and it is an AI used for facial reconstruction. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that on our own images. So I took uh, an image from a uh, live stream I did yesterday where I'm working on kind of an AI challenge for uh, the Seven Deadly Sins. This is a greed one that I did. I'm very happy with it, but I didn't like the face. And by running it through GPF GAN, I was able to actually upsize it as well as fix the face. So I want to show you all the steps involved in doing that. Let's go. So here's an example of the faces I did yesterday from our uh, Seven Deadly Sins challenge. And you can see the substantial improvement from left to right. Uh, now, you don't have to code or know anything about coding to do this, but we are going to use a tool called Google Colab, and that is a collaborative tool for working on AI projects or Python projects. And I want to show you how to use that tool, and it doesn't require anything more than you clicking a couple of buttons. So don't freak out, but this is really an elegant solution. So I'll put the URL down below for this so you can get to it yourself. And there's not a lot of steps involved, and again, the results are fantastic. So just get used to the steps, and I think you're good to go. The first thing we need to do is we need to duplicate this because we may want to change it later, but you don't necessarily need to. Um, to do that, you would just change it to, uh, to copy it to your own Google Drive. Use file and then save a copy and drive and you can save your own copy and you can modify it. Now we're just going to use the one that's here because we really don't have to modify anything, but we do need to connect it. So we're just going to go up and say connect to a hosted runtime. And it's going to run it in the Google Cloud. Again, there's no cost involved. As long as you're not running amok in here, uh, they're probably not even going to notice you're there. Uh, but just keep an eye on this up here as to see whether you're connected or not. So basically, this is going to facial reconstruct uh, whatever it finds in, in, the, uh, in the scene. So this is very simple. Every time we see a prompt, we're just going to kind of click on the play button. It's that easy. So right here, we can see that it's going to load all this stuff into a folder. We're just going to click on it. Um, and it's going to warn you that this wasn't authored by Google. So you just click run anyway, because again, it's running it in their cloud. And you're going to see that it does a bunch of stuff. And we're just going to let it do its thing. Again, we're not coders or need to code. We're just going to let these people who established this fantastic tool do its business. Okay, through sheer luck of the draw, we probably didn't draw the fastest processor in the world over at Google. But it took about 36 seconds to, to complete this first step. Note that every time you do this, you do not need to run all of these steps again. Again, this is a local worksheet for you and you're still connected. You can just continue to feed it images over and over again with some of the steps we're going to do in a minute. So don't think you're going to have to do this every time. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, click on the play button for uploading images. It's going to execute this code and then ask us for our file. Okay, once this is ready, we're simply going to click on choose files and upload the file we'd like to. I'm gonna use this one here. You see the unfortunate faces we got from Dali uh, made me try and find another solution. And this is just, again, much more elegant. Uh, click on this one. Uh, by the way, large files don't tend to work real well here. So if you're gonna do just the face and you have a large file, I would say crop it down to just the face and use that um, in order to get a better solution out of this. If it takes too long or it's too big, it isn't gonna work out real well. So load this in, you see it's uh, not a very large JPEG. And then what we would like to do is uh, this area here, if you're looking to uh, use the demo images, which of course we're not interested in. So just skip that. And then down here for the inference, we'll just run that. And then we're going to start to see some of the results of what it is that we've been doing here. Because uh, we're going to be able to visualize these next. Again, as soon as you see there's a green check mark next to this, we know we're good to go on to the next step. Again, we have a green check mark, so 20, 22 seconds. And then we go down to visualize and click And we should start to see the before and after as created by this GAN. And this is the whole reason why we're here, because that's freaking beautiful. That worked out great. It fixed the eyes. It fixed the lip. It did a fantastic job. It's also going to upscale this a bit, I believe, by two. Uh, so at the end, you'll end up with a bit bigger image, but it'll fix all the faces as well. So this next area there will actually take and run the rest of the image through the processor. So we don't end up with just the face. So this is the entire image and then the GAN output. It may actually change other little nuances of the image as well because as it does, it's upscaling. Uh, but I found it to be pretty minor overall. 
And then the last step down here is to click on plus to download the image result. It will create a zip file and it will hand it to you. So the contents of the zip, you'll get a results folder. And inside of that, you'll have the comparison, which is the image you saw when I started this, this, uh, this video. And then we'll also have the faces that are cropped, which is again, what we saw earlier when it was the before and after. And that's all it's really doing is handing you, oops. It's just handing you the before and after of everything it generated anyway. And then of course the ultimate ones under restored images would be the complete image with the real face involved. So now we can take this back into Photoshop if we need to and do anything else we need to do as far as borrowing this face and masking out the rest of the image or just using it as it came out. But this is really nice because it's free. You can use it today and it does a much better job than say Dali does at trying to do things. It does not fix hands though. That's a big thing. But I also love the fact that it can upscale the image, which is pretty damn convenient. Well, let me know what you think in the comments below. I think this is a lifesaver for all of us who are working in mid-journey and Dali and uh, stable diffusion for that matter that are having difficulty with faces. Uh, this is a lifesaver. So let me know what you think. Everybody take care, stay safe. I'll catch you next time.